group of Fort Wayne police detectives are using the break in the April Tinsley case as motivation to solve other homicides. Some of those investigations go back to the 1960s. News Channel 15's Chris Darby takes us inside the cold case room. Chris. Terror homicide detective Brian Martin tells me the arrest of John Miller is a small victory that carries him through the next cases on his plate. On any given day inside the doors of the Fort Wayne Police Department's robbery homicide unit, you'll find the detective and a couple of others helping him as he sorts through old cases. There are multiple cases for every year going back 50 years that need solved. Martin revisits them, looking for witnesses that might have new information. He tells me the detectives have also gone through old evidence, resubmitting it to the Indiana State Police Lab in Indianapolis. He knows the break in the Tinsley case has family members of other victims wondering what is happening in their cases. Know that we're not giving up. Know that we work every usable lead that we can get. If you know something or know somebody who has direct information, encourage them to come forward and give us that information. I cannot imagine what they go through as far as the not knowing and needing to know. And we work every day to give those families closure. And uh, it, it truly is what we are striving to do. After Tinsley, I asked what cases are being worked on now. He didn't want to answer that, telling me all cases are important. And it would be unfair for one family to think theirs is more or less worthy than another. 